Hey, I'm this guy. I bought some of this on one of these with a couple of those on it to do, well, I don't really know. But I have lofty aspirations and little money. And so I give you low budget, high desert. Is it spring yet? Oh. New year, same old me, same old beautiful patch of dust out here. But what I've got is a whole host of new problems. But also a new truck. Isn't she grand, Hey. Most problems cost money. All problems cost time. And uh, the problems that I have are probably gonna cost me a bit of both. Hopefully not too much though. The biggest issue I'm running into after this long, long winter that we have had is that I can't get any of my gasoline powered tools to start. Not a one of them. I'm not sure if it's the temperature or the fact that the gas is old and has been sitting around for a long time. Probably that but uh, I'm gonna do my best to try and fix it and figure out what's going on because if I don't get the mule up and running, nothing's gonna happen around here. So my gas is definitely a bit stale. I'm not really sure how uh, old this stuff in here is. I know I got it sometime last year, but I've got this ethanol shield fuel stabilizer, fuel re revitalizer. So we're just gonna see this helps. If I'm understanding the instructions correctly, you can drink up to five ounces before you ruin the ecosystem. You can have half of it and uh, your heart explodes. This is when you need to start worrying and then this is when you actually die. So I'll probably only drink down to here and uh, see what that does for me. Just kidding. You knew I was kidding. All right, that seems good. I don't know. I was so busy joking around that I actually didn't read the instructions, so I hope that I didn't go uh, ruining anything worse than it already is. Oh, how bad can it be though? It's not that hard to use, right? It's just some fuel stabilizer. All right, let's go up. Here's another problem. I broke not one, but two axes splitting wood because apparently I'm really bad at it. Granted, I do it drunk most of the time, but come on, two axes? There she is, the reluctant beast. We're gonna see what we can get going today. Hopefully. Hopefully. Nothing. So I think that the first step is going to be to drain the old gas out of it. So let's just go over here, grab this. Perfect, right where I left it two years ago. All right, so I've done this once before when it got rained on and had to drain the gas. It's this guy right here, if memory serves. So, just gonna open this up. Mmm, smells like horrible chemicals. Anyway, let's just crack this. Try not to get any on the ground because that's bad for the ecosystem. I got chipmunks to worry about. Okay. Oh yeah, that gas has gone varnishy as all hell. I think that this is probably our issue. I'm gonna put this right here. Open up the gas cap so that there's not a vacuum. Do you know this really hurts in open cuts? Who could have possibly guessed? This is taking forever, and the wind is definitely not helping keeping it all in the jar. All right, well, I run out of jar room, so I'm just going to uh, tighten this back up, I think, and hope for the best. Put some of the new stuff in, put some of the orange Gatorade stuff in. I'll show you what I mean. So there was that first stuff that I added to the gas can that is supposed to stabilize old fuel. And then there's this, 
mechanic in the bottle, which looks like the exact same stuff, but this one tells you that you can add it directly to the tank of a non-running engine, which is what I got here. So I'm thinking I'll pour a little bit of this in there and give her a rip. Gas tank is mostly empty, I think, and if I just uh, shake some of this in there and let it diffuse, I think that it should start. Hopefully, I don't know. Okay, I've moved the mule to a spot where I didn't spill anything flammable on the ground. So I'm just going to uh, rip the cord a few times and see what happens. So, it should be open a little bit. Maybe it just needs to sit a little bit longer. Maybe I need to shake it up. Mix around that Gatorade. Get it to diffuse a bit more. I don't know. That's progress, I think. Doesn't sound too healthy, but something's happening. now it's doing the uh, low throttle which is what I usually run it on anyway unless I'm carrying something really heavy so I think this has worked hooray that's the first problem down just out of curiosity I think this one should run it's uh, just a nicer machine no problem gas tool number three the wood chipper, another workhorse that runs for hours and hours at a time. So, let's see, fuel pump on, throttle in start mode, engine on. Well, that was an unsettling amount of smoke that came out of it, but it looks like it's actually working. So I think that just about covers every gasoline tool I have on here. That's pretty good. Another thing that bothers me is just how messy things get during the winter. I don't get to come down here all that often just because of uh, weather reasons and things like that. There's also no work that I can do. But what I do when I'm down here during the winter is uh, freeze my ass off. So. All of this on the ground that you see is just me chopping wood and breaking up sticks to try and keep warm. I don't like how it looks, so I'm gonna uh, clean up the place a little bit. So that looks a little bit better, and it definitely makes me feel a little bit better. But now what do I do with the pile? What do you do with yard waste? 
especially when the whole place is yard and it's covered in waste. Well, we have a way of dealing with that out here. Safety first, always. Just a little bit. It takes less than you think. I've always wanted to do this. I don't think it works. All right, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. There it is. And then you just kind of sit around and stare at it until it's burnt out and pour some water on top of the ashes. You should always keep an eye on it while it's burning, but it doesn't mean you can't have fun while you wait. Okay, this looks like it's pretty much burnt itself out. It's all ash now, so I'm gonna pour some water on top of it and call it good. Well, I think that about does it for this video. I don't have much left to do in terms of chores besides uh, install insulation, which involves mostly muffled swearing and probably wouldn't make a good video. But uh, tune in next time when I'm probably digging some fucking hole or something. Something tells me it's gonna be a digging-centric sort of year, so tune in for that, if that's the kind of weird stuff you're into. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today. Thanks for watching.